Welcome back to ATG Sports Plus, where we immerse ourselves in the whirlwind of sports. I'm your host, Zach Haiku, here to guide you through the freshest stories from across the sporting universe. In the high-speed world of FEA GTSE, Carmona Endurance emerged as the undisputed champions of the season, taking the 2023A GTSE GTP Championship. Over on the verdant landscapes of the SLPGA Open at Deer Creek, Poppy Williams teed off impressively and concluded winning the 2023 SLPGA Spring Tour. Not to be outdone, our cyclists put on a spectacular show at the SL20B racing event. Valk Rain took the lead on the 7 events championship, winning both the first race and the first fastest lap challenge. These highlights and more are what makes ATG Sports Plus your essential sports roundup. Buckle up as we dive into today's sports stories. In the thrilling finale of the 2023A GTSE GTP Championship, Carmona Endurance emerged as the undisputed champions of the season, amassing a whopping 154 points. The lead driver, Luke Carmona, demonstrated spectacular prowess on the track, setting the fastest qualifying time of 29.278 seconds. Following Carmona was Zero Sugar's Valky Rain, clocking in at 29.462 seconds, and just a hair's breadth behind was Grind Endurance's Nicole Dallas, crossing the finish line at 29.472 seconds. Husaria Racing's Pasta Lopez secured fourth place with a time of 29.769 seconds, while also boasting the fastest lap of the race. Coming in fifth was TSE, TS Endurance's Jerry Stroller at 30.406 seconds and in sixth place Christina Cartau of Team Spirit Racing finished with the time of 33.169. Turning our attention to the season's overall standings, the battle for second place was a close call with Grind Endurance narrowly securing their position with 83 points, just a point ahead of Osario Racing's 82. TS Endurance followed in fourth with 64 points. Sigma and Team Spirit concluded the season with 53 and 37 points respectively. Despite a solid performance in this final race, Zero Sugar ended up seventh overall with 35 points. Lethal Racing rounded out the list with eight points. And that wraps up the gripping finale of the FVA 2023A racing season. We've seen incredible performances, nail-biting finishes, and a testament to the sheer skill and determination of these world-class world racers. Until the next season, race fans! In an electrifying round of the SRL Indy Pro Series at the Roseland Speedway on June 19, 2023, Jesus Crisp clinched a remarkable victory. Kenny Tomorrow, tomorrow, despite starting from pole position, finished second, while Emmy Blueberry put in a commendable performance to take third place. Not far behind, Luke Carmona secured a fourth position, followed by Morticia Veloda in fifth. Calicchiori managed to get the sixth position, with Christina Kurtau finish, finishing a close seventh. Rounding out the top 10 were Romeo Highwater, Kenvenk Ivanovic and Road Dog Lagan in the 8th, 9th and 10th positions respectively. Becky Acker, Piper Barrow completed the race in the 11th and 12th spots. Unfortunately, Raylan Rain and Max Verstappen didn't finish the race, taking the 13th and 14th positions. In a notable highlight of the event, Piper Barrow rec recorded the fastest lap of the race, despite finishing 12th overall. This truly was an evening of high-speed thrills and unexpected twists on the racetrack. Possible great news for all the racing enthusiasts out there, LC Racing Circuits is still very much up and running. Currently, the Second Life Region Preservation Society, a linen-led initiative, is reviewing LCRC. The SLRPS is a fantastic organization working tirelessly to save significant regions in our virtual world that might otherwise vanish. One of the critical criteria for preservation is high traffic, so if you're a fan of LCRC and want to keep enjoying the thrill of racing on, on their tracks, keep visiting and racing with them. By doing so, we can collectively ensure that the fun continues and we preserve the diverse array of racing circuits that we proudly share with Racers Island. Let's keep the wheel spinning and the virtual asphalt hall hot. In the SRL Premier Series at Two Pines on Saturday, June 24, 2023, we saw some phenomenal racing action. A round of applause for number 6, Luke Carmona, who claimed the top spot tonight. Coming in a close second was number 14, Aaron Robbins, followed by number 9, Morticia Villota, in third. 
Not far behind, number 42, Tonsis Cat secured fourth place, with number 7, Donovan Michalski, completing the top five. Further down the line, number 43, Ardi Lagan, took sixth place, followed by number 1, Kathleen Spitfire Anathian, in seventh. In the eighth to tenth spots, we had number 85, Katya Lovka, number 48, Romeo Hightower, and number 0, Christina Kurtau, respectively. Rounding out the final five were number 10, Becky Acker, number 59, Tom Charles, number 71, Pody Sika, and number 32, Sam Firehawk, and number 31, one Diane Fox. Let's not forget our starting pole sitter and tonight's champion, number six, Luke Carmona, and a special shout out to our rookie of the race, number one, Kathleen Spitfire Anatine. Can't wait to see what these racers have in store for us next time. During the round four of the Open at Deer Creek, Brenda Wynn Schumacher re secured a resounding victory with an impressive score of par minus 99 and a total of 189 points from a possible 288. In a close competition for second place, Poppy Williams and Kyla tied with a score of par minus 97 and a total of 191 points, rounding out the top three. Lily secured third place with a score of par minus 94 and a total of 194 points. And the final standings of the SLPGA Spring Tour, Poppy Williams claimed the trophy with a whopping 410 points, not far behind. Alex finished in second place with 374 points, while Erison took third with 284 points. So let's hear it for Poppy Williams, the triumphant winner of the 2023 SLPGA Spring Tour. Congratulations to all the competitors for their splendid performance throughout the season. Gear up for an adrenaline-fueled week at LC Racing Circuits. Every day of the upcoming week is jam-packed with thrilling races on a variety of tracks and an array of vehicles, all under the expert hosting of Azria Uu. This week-long extravaganza is set to culminate in the crowning of an overall All-Star Championship winner. Mark your calendars because all events kick off at 1 p.m. Second Life time. The action starts on Monday with stock cars from the SRL Premier taking on 75 laps at the Charger Motor Speedway. Then on Tuesday we switch gears with a 35 lap race featuring GP2 vehicles at Summer Nights. Midweek excitement continues on a Wednesday with a 20 minute mini challenge at Bay Isle Raceway's short layout. Then Thursdays brings GTSS Racing to Sun Beach for another 20 minute battle. The exhilaration doesn't stop as Friday brings us to the Carmen Air Super Speedway where the Carmona Indy cars will tackle 75 laps. Then on Saturday the GTSE cars take on the Tokyo Street Circuit for a 20 minute showdown. To cap off the All-Star Super Week, Sunday features a 45 lap race with GP1 cars at the Grand Prix layout of Straka. Make sure you don't miss a minute of this racing bonanza at LC Racing Circuits. A warm welcome to all you wrestling enthusiasts. Gear up for a thrilling week in the Second Life universe as wrestling virtuosos from around the world are all set to steal the show on the virtual stage. We are kickstarting the action with OEW Ascension Sunday at 10 a.m. Second Life time, where OEW Worldweight Heavyweight Champion Bannock Og in a non title match. We then have Rise at Pink Moon Estates commencing at 2 p.m. Second Life time for the finale. The exhilarating drama continues with PWGP's Dream at Saitama Arena at 4 p.m. Second Life time, leading us to the day's finale with UFW's Frontline at First Zona at 7 p.m. Second Life time. Mark your Monday for Premier Wrestling's Attitude at the Vitality Arena at 1 p.m. Second Life time, and UFW Un broken at first zone at 5 p.m second life time uh, wrapping up monday's roster we have fwf blood at the fwf pavilion at 7 p.m second life time brace yourselves as tuesday brings an energy packed lineup we start with bcw's battle zone at the old mill at 3 p.m second life time and hpw infinity at evergarden civic center at 6 p.m second life time Wednesday rekindles the wrestling spirit with Rise at the Goha Arena at 1 p.m. Second Life Time and then Valiant Wrestling Flashpoint at the Surge Stadium at 6 p.m. Second Life Time. Thursday brings the thrill peak with Premier Wrestling's Overload at the Vitality Arena at 1 p.m. Second Life Time, BCW Chaos at the Pemberley Theatre at 4 p.m. Second Life Time and DAW Amplify at the T Tune Music Lounge at 6 p.m. Second Life Time. As we roll into Friday, prepare for the DCWF Slam City at 2 p.m. Second Life Time, VWE Defiance at the Grapital City Arena at 6 p.m. Second Life Time, and a double threat with UFW Nightfall at First Zona and Elite Angel Wrestling at Sacred Island, both starting at 8 p.m. Second Life Time. Finally, as we wrap up the week, Saturday serves up PWGP Risen as a Saitama Arena at 12 p.m. Second Life Time, Premier Unplugged at the Unicorn Garden at 1 p.m. Second Life Time, and WPWF Asylum at the Sky High Arena at 6 p.m. Second Life Time. 
Buckle up for a ride of a week as our virtual wrestling champions shine in the Second Life Arena. Last week in the world of Second Life Wrestling was a nothing short of a powerhouse performance. It was an action-packed week filled to the brim with electrifying stunts, unexpected plot twists and breathtaking showdowns. Our exceptional, our exceptional wrestlers took center stage, carving out unforgettable moments that have taken the virtual wrestling world by storm. Now brace yourselves and we're about to plunge back into this whirlwind of excitement and revisit the most thrilling moments from this pulsating virtual wrestling universe. At FWF Blood this Monday night in the FWF Pavilion, fans were treated to an array of intense matchups. The event kicked off with a gripping contest between Venus Mask and Agent Alexis Anderson. Although Mask, the newcomer, displayed commendable offense, Anderson ultimately clinched the victory through a tap out. Next up, the formidable Vishka faced off against the Agile Angel. Despite a noticeably improved performance from the Snow Leopard Angel, utilizing his raw power secured the win. In the third match of the night, Jake Longley and Rocky Star Striker engaged in a thrilling battle with Star Striker eventually triumphing over Longley. Capping off the night was the anticipated cage match where FWF Alpha Champion Crypto defended his title against the challenger Metz. In a thrilling cage-shaking bout, Crypto managed to maintain his championship title, forcing a submission from the determined Fox Metz. Last Thursday, DAW Amplify returned to the DAW Battlements in Area City with a thrilling lineup of matches. The night opened with the Pharaoh aiming to deliver a legendary promo, only to be interrupted by Charlie Jameson, the big bad biker wolf. A challenge was issued for an overdrive mix, a no rules match, which promptly commenced with Jameson wielded a steel chair. Despite some offensive strikes from the Pharaoh's signature stick, Jameson dominated the match, securing a 2 0 victory. In an earlier recorded segment, Commissioner Charity Rourke reinstated Nux to fighting status following his recovery from injuries. The conversation took a serious turn as Nux revealed his vengeful quest for the culprit who put his brother in a coma years ago in an underground battle league, which Charity and other DAW founders once participated in. Charity dismissed his concerns, suggesting that the perpetrator's presence in DAW would spell trouble for everyone. Undeterred, Nux declared his intention to continue his pursuit. The evening's second match witnessed Magnus Bolner pitted against Angel. Despite Magnus securing one round, the ruthless and relentless Angel emerged victorious, applying his Adoration over Sig sequence to win the match 2-1. The highly anticipated Madly mixed-down tag battle formed the main event. It was a fierce showdown between the teams of Red Empress and Fulami and Sasha Winters and Vivian, with each side enduring heavy blows and diminishing lives. The tension peaked when Sasha was the first to be eliminated. Left to face her adversaries alone, Vivian was subjected to brutal treatment from Falami before being handed over to Red Empress. The merciless assault forced Vivian to be carried off on a stretcher, leaving Red Empress and Falami standing victorious, issuing a daunting warning to the rest of the roster. In the thrilling wrestling showcase at WPWF Rebellion FPV, Kimberly Smith emerged as the new Sirens Rising champion after defeating Leah the Doll Duffield in a grueling match that saw both athletes use every corner of the arena to their advantage. In a heated triple threat elimination, Abigail Cromvis overcame Soledad and the voodoo queen Carmelita Marcel thanks to an impressive pile driver and a flying DDT maneuver. Karma Star claimed victory in the Sirens Rising N1 contendership match against Vena the Kraken Good Piuda. Despite Vena's strong display, Karma managed to secure the win with her finisher. The vicious vixens, Mazer Baxton and Foxy Beth Ann, clinched the WPWF Tag Team Championship title from Shimmer, Natalie Sonan and Vanola in a match filled with tactful tax, tag moves, MMA style back and forth and a new finisher. Samantha Foxy tri triumphed over Cassidy Sink Navala in an open challenge. Samantha proved she hasn't lost her touch despite some time away from WPWF, eventually winning with her Protocol Sigma finisher. In the night's main event, Rena Kadoya defeated her WPWF World Championship against Katie M.F. Carter with the help of her tag partner Maya Raya, who distracted the referee. Rena used the glass baton to end the match and retain her title, the only champion of the night to do so. 
Last week's wrestling showdown was a constant thrill ride, a spectacle that left us astounded. As we gear up for a new week, the suspense is already building. Brace yourselves for more heart-stopping moments and unforgettable matches that make this week you can't afford to miss. We'll be right here bringing you every exhilarating plot twist and epic showdown in this thrilling saga. So keep your eyes peeled, folks. There's a whole lot more in store in the wrestling world than you absolutely don't want to miss. A thrilling event unfolded at the Second Life Cycling Federation with a commendable turnout of 18 entries. Our gratitude goes out to all participants and to Meika for her professional hosting. Here's the rundown for SL20B Race 1. The champion of the race was Valk Rain. A Mika Mermaid followed closely in second, with Nicole Dallas securing its third position. The top five was rounded out by Umbrian Viper and Morticia Villota in fourth and fifth places, respectively. Valk Rain doesn't just take home the top spot, but also claimed the fastest slap alkylade with a time of 135.10. The track is now ready for the coming week. Get set to clock in your fastest lap two times for the championship and be prepared for race two next Saturday. Points for participation and podium finishes will be updated shortly. As it stands, Valkyrie is off to an impressive start, leading the championship early on. And that wraps up this edition of ATG Sports Plus, folks. As always, don't forget to keep the ball rolling in the virtual field.